So as you saw, I just went in and did the striping and the painting on the road there. Uh, let that dry. I may tweak it a little bit, um, but so far it looks pretty good. Uh, it's been drying for about a good hour or so now, and uh, don't mind that. I had to reapply some dirt over there. It wasn't sticking very good, so I had to re-glue that. Anyway, don't mind that. I think that turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy enough with that that I'm probably just going to live with it. So we'll just go ahead and, for the time being, set the bridge back over here, like so. And that's what it's going to more or less end up looking like. Probably going to add s some trees around here. I've got these little guys right here. Got these on clearance for a little focus there. Doesn't want to focus apparently. Dollar twenty-four harbor at uh, Hobby Lobby there earlier this earlier this summer. So I might plant those guys right over here. Maybe we'll have to see. This camera sure is slow at focusing. Um, and I also have these which I've had for a while now. These Woodland Scenics guys, they were also on sale at one time. This has probably been four or five years ago that I bought these. Back when I still had the HO layout rocking. And I've also got the, the fine leaf foliage trees down there, which I can use. I've got a lot of options for trees. But uh, I'm doing some more dirt right here. I just uh, glued that down. The road, I'm guessing, is probably going to continue straight and then curve off the layout. That's kind of what I'm going for over here. We'll figure that one out. So what I used to paint the road was these one of these jelly rolls that uh, Hobby Lobby sells. It's a three pack. It comes with the the number. Of 5, 8, and 10 I think is what the numbers are. So I used the number 8 on this. Um, I was using the smaller one, but it kind of stopped riding on me. And this one worked out fine and finished a job. So unfortunately I only saw this in white. I'll have to look again because I'd like to get this in yellow. Um, but uh, these worked really well to write on that. So nice clean lines there and uh, good to go so this area guys is coming along very nicely and uh, I guess we'll start working on this section of the road I'd like to get this done too uh, next
so I've got the the road base laid down here and I used this gray college board as they call it at Hobby Lobby. You can buy the stuff over there. Four bucks for this big sheet. It's a very thick card almost cardboard like paper stock. Bought this to use um, possibly for building foundations and sidewalks. It's got this nice gray to it. So I kind of thought that'd make a good concrete base. But for in this instance, I'm using this to just kind of smooth the bumpy foam as it turned out to be. That glue might have melted that foam a little bit actually, but we just won't, you didn't hear me say that. So smooth out that bumpy foam there and elevate it up to a point where it's basically right, just right below the edge of the pavement, quote pavement right there. So I'm going to take this this paper stock right here which has got a texture on it and then I'm going to glue this down to there and it's basically going to be even at that point. Now this does hang over a little bit over in here. That's not a big deal because we'll just push the the scenery up under the road surface there and blend it out, smooth it out. That'll look pretty good. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use for this yet. I have used sculpt mold and for the other stuff I use sculpt mold around here. And one of the things that happened over here was that as this did this a few months ago and as time has passed it actually ended up separating. There's a crack that showed up right here along between the foam and where I plastered it right to here. Basically sculpt mode's plaster, that's all it is. So I went over that with a black pen to, to conceal that crack. I'm not sure if it actually separated, if the plaster actually shrunk or if it's the foam that shrunk. I have no way of knowing that. It didn't do it on the other side, it just did it on this side. So anyway, it didn't do it over here either down here because this was all sculpt molded right up here up to the uh, the road base but either way um, this might be an issue over here too so I'm going to decide what I want to do with that what I have done in the past is build this up with sand um, and then put the scenery on top of that paint it and put the scenery on top of that sand um, works great for absorbing glue and it stays in place and I use that it's a really easy way to make hills subtle hills, contours, dips, you know, stuff like that. Just pour it there, glue it down, and <laughs> wait for it to dry. I'll figure something out with that, but that's where we're at right now on the project. So let's get back to cracking at it. Woo! <laughs> fairly quickly so it's unfortunate that they stopped selling this particular brand because I like it but they do still sell another brand over there this says it's Australian owned assembled in China read directions and safety before use uh, I read those thoroughly as you can tell from this video so yeah so we got the primary road here well, I don't know if it's primary, but the road I've been working on for a while, we got that basically done. We may go back and put some weathering on that, I don't know, but I'm happy with that the way it is so far. And we put some expansion crack filler in here. I did put some lines in here with the with the um, 
paint marker. Just kind of went in there and made some little tar patches, but um, I think this turned out pretty good actually. Alright, so I went ahead and filled in the gap here with some of this spot putty. It's a tent of a plastic putty. Foam is foam and paper is close enough to plastic, right? Anyway, it's just a it's just a filler. 100% acrylic resin. It doesn't want to focus, so look at that. Focus. Woo! Hello. 100% acrylic resin. So I didn't want to mix up this plaster and all that BS. Water-based marble dust is what it says this is. So I smeared that across my joint there. Had a little dip, a little hole right here. I just put some in there. So let's see if this stuff is dry enough. I did this a couple hours ago. The power just went out. Wonderful. We got a nice uh, windstorm here tonight, folks. It just snowed big time. And uh, <laughs> great. I should go get the candles here. But let's go ahead and get this video finished. Why not here, folks? Woo! We're living dangerously here. Just something to cover up that gap with there. Clean that up and let's go ahead and hit it with some uh, of our sugar paint. You can see this stuff coats very well. It smells like whiskey, folks. Woo wee! Smells like some good old Kentucky whiskey right there. Woo! And there we go. Put another layer on that after that dries and come back and check that out. I think that worked out pretty good there. See me just paint those lines with the jelly roll pen. That right there. And you know, jelly roll. the railroads aren't perfect either. Those guys, when they start painting these roads, sometimes they get those lines every which way they want to go. Cover up this one here, too. And, and it's okay to have that because hey, it just kind of looks like a road patch. It's kind of this does right here too, where I masked it off. So when this is when I'm at the point that I really want to do it, I'll probably start doing a little bit of um, weathering of the road, kind of fade it out a little bit like this is back here. Um, this has just kind of become that from all the work I've been doing, but I kind of like that <clears throat> slightly faded um, look as opposed to fresh asphalt which is what this basically looks like I think this uh, this dark gray paint worked uh, extremely well for uh, asphalt color it looks like a freshly paved um, road you know it's not quite perfectly flat black it's just got a little bit of a lighter tint to it than black because it's a dark gray obviously but it's still still pretty dark so I think that worked out really well I'm going to touch this up right here, just a little bit, kind of make it look like a patch. Sometimes you do see those in the middle of the road. 
Now, you might be wondering, well, okay, what if you want to have yellow strut down the middle of the road? I couldn't find the jelly rolls in yellow, but I might have to look again. Um, but in the meantime, I think what I could do is take a yellow marker, and I'm looking through my pile back behind me here. So what I'm thinking of doing is going over the white line with like a yellow marker. In this case, it's an orange marker, but it's a this is a broad tip marker. So what I'm thinking of doing. This will focus in on that, probably we won't. Seems to want to be hung up on the background there. There we go. So I could go in, and let's just see if this works here. Paint over that line. Yeah, it kind of works. Kind of works. That's an idea that I had anyway. Being a black road, it's not going to matter whether or not I get it on the pavement or not because I'm not going to be able to see it but because those because these markers are I think I got these on Clarence and Hobby Lobby I get a lot of stuff on Clarence and Hobby Lobby I got a whole pack of these things brush tip markers those are transparent enough to where that wouldn't matter but let's just go ahead and put our white back over that there okay so anyway I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. In this episode, we got the road basically done to a point to where I'm happy with it. We got some landscaping done, and we got that area back there basically finished. I'm going to add a little bit of foliage back in here, but I don't know if I need to do that in this video or not. I might do that in the next video. Put this guy right down here. I made this thing to fit in there perfectly. There we go. All right. So I got to get this. I got to get this done, which we're almost to that point. Almost done with this area right back in here, at least to the point where I can start laying track. Yeah, that's really kind of what's been holding me up is this area right here because I need to lay track over the bridge. So anyway, all right, guys. Take care. Peace out. Like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Help out the channel, guys. Peace out, everybody. Woo!